GV90 has two internal circulators, control module, a blower assembly, gas valve, hot surface igniter, a redundant limit, pressure switch, and transformer. The boiler is designed to, to use the two circulators to protect itself from condensing within the cast iron heat exchange. The return pipe sensor will sense the temperature of the pipe and ensure that the water within the pipe is 140 degrees returning to the boiler. With the two pumps, when we initiate a call for heat, both pumps run at 115 volts. The fan will start, go through its sequence of operations, fire the boiler, and then lower the voltage on the, the rear pump below 50 volts and keep the voltage on the front pump at 115. <clears throat> As the boiler's in bypass mode, it'll just keep the water circulating around the boiler and it'll raise its temperature till it sees the return water temperature above 140. At that point, it'll start to raise the voltage of the back pump until it reaches 115 volts, and then it'll lower the front voltage down so we're pulling water purely from the system. Here we're representing the circulators and their operations through two meters. The one on the top is our rear system circulator, and the one on the bottom is our front bypass circulator. As you see, we're, the boiler's firing now, and it's still in its pre-purge, so we've got voltage to both, both circulators. Once the boiler fires and establishes flame, we will lower the voltage of the, the back circulator and keep the water flowing only through the boiler. Now the temperature we're reading on the front of the control module is actually the temperature coming out of the boiler. We're not reading the temperature of the sensor. The control is the only, the only one reading, the, reading the, the return sensor. We're seeing the outlet temperature. As the boiler is heating up, it gives me some time to describe the, the control itself. On this control, we can raise and lower the high limit temperature simply by turning the dial, and the temperature will get brighter and you can adjust it and then it'll dim down back to its temperature, the actual temperature coming out of the boiler. Below, I have an economy feature. This feature will put a pre-pump on the boiler to, to pull any heat that's residual heat left within the block out to the system before actually firing the boiler to aid in its efficiency. As you can see, we're getting up to about 130 degrees. And again, this is the outlet water temperature, so we'll need to be somewhere in the 100, 160, 170 degrees outlet of the boiler before we're reading a return of 140 and actually see the, the switch over of our rear pumps. Now that we're seeing that we're getting our outlet water of 160, we can see the voltage going up on the rear pump, pulling water from our system. And we'll see this, we'll see the, the voltage go all the way up to the 115 volts. and the control will see that we are maintaining a steady return of the 140 on our return pipe sensor. And at that point, when we will slowly start to drop the front bypass circulator down in voltage, as we can see happening at this point. So now the boiler is fully pulling water from the system after protecting itself during the startup period. And will continue to run until it's satisfied or reaches its set point.